here's our diaphragm and here is our abdominal aorta okay. now remember this is the thoracic aorta and then below the diaphragm we're going to have the abdominal aorta the first branch I'm going to talk about off of the abdominal aorta is going to be this one right here and we're going to call that the celiac trunk now the celiac trunk is going to have three branches there's going to be a branch that goes to the spleen so that's the splenic artery there's going to be a branch that's going to go to the lesser curvature of the stomach so we're going to call that the left gastric and then there's going to be a branch that's going to come over here toward the liver and that blood vessel is called the common hepatic artery. So those are the three branches off the celiac trunk, splenic, left gastric, and common hepatic. The next branch is going to be the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery is going to supply blood to the small intestines and the first part of the large intestine, the ascending and transverse colon. The next branch down is going to be the renal arteries, and they would bring blood to the kidneys. We're going to have some other branches, like so. I'm going to call those the gonadal arteries, since we don't know the sex of the subject we're dealing with. If we were dealing with a male, these would be testicular arteries. If we were dealing with a female, these would be ovarian arteries. But since we don't know, I'm just going to use the generic term. I'm going to use the gonadal arteries for this. The next branch down is going to be the inferior mesenteric artery. And this inferior mesenteric artery is going to supply the rest of the large intestine. Now somewhere around L4 or L5, this abdominal aorta is going to branch into the common iliac arteries. And the common iliac arteries will branch into an internal iliac and an external iliac. Now, also, at this bifurcation of the abdominal aorta, there's going to be a blood vessel that goes along the anterior portion of the sacrum right here, and this is going to be called the median sacral artery. Median sacral. Coming back to this spot over here where the common iliacs branch into the internal and external iliacs, this external iliac is going to pierce the abdominal wall, emerge into the femoral triangle and in the thigh, and after it passes through the abdominal wall, the name is going to change, and the name changes to the femoral artery. Now this femoral artery right here is going to dive deep into the substance of the thigh and come around onto the back of the knee, so I draw it curved like this, indicating that it's around the back of the knee right now. And the name changes, once it's behind the knee, to the popliteal artery. Remember, popliteal means behind the knee. Now this popliteal artery is going to branch into an anterior tibial artery and a posterior tibial artery. Okay? We also have a fibular artery branching off of the posterior tibial artery. So remember, it's often helpful to visualize this main blood vessel is being like an interstate highway and all these branches are like exits off the highway and it's always good to start at a centralized location like a home base for example or in this case remember we started with the heart if you found this video helpful click like and consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhealth.com